Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I want to talk to you about plastic bags. More specifically, how to ditch your plastic bag habit. Okay, now you might be thinking, but I don't really have a plastic bag habit. I bring my reusable bags to the grocery store all the time. I know, so do I, but guess what? There are lots of other places where you can bring your reusable bags and my guess is, is that sometimes you might forget to bring them to those places. Um, and the reason that I say this is that very recently, and I am a big proponent of, you know, reusable bags. I have them in the car all the time. I bring them on vacation with me. Like I literally bring them everywhere. Right. And plus I have like a really big tote bag that I carry around with me everywhere. So, you know, like I always have something that I can put things in, <laughs> right. If I really need. Um, but my husband and I were on vacation with our kids and we decided to get new running shoes because it's literally been like six years since I've gotten new running shoes and it's time, right? My feet need new shoes for running. And uh, we happened to find this outlet store. It was really awesome. And they were doing like buy one, get 50% off of the other one. And uh, I picked out my shoes. He went in to pick out his shoes. And then he came out with our shoe boxes in a big plastic bag. And the truth is, is that I didn't really even notice until we got home. And then I was like, why? Do we have a plastic bag around our shoe boxes? Like, why is that even a thing that we need? Um, and I wasn't angry at him. Like, I, you know, like, it's something that I feel like a lot of us do, you know? Like, we just accept plastic bags in places that are not grocery stores because we haven't totally trained ourselves to say, like, hey, I can actually just carry these shoe boxes out. No big. I got this, right? So, you know, like, just to be really clear, I think that, you know, for most of us, it's not automatic to refuse plastic bags. It's not automatic to say, like, you know, it's cool. I can carry this or I have my own or even to bring reusable bags into places that are not grocery stores. I think that that's just not something that we've trained ourselves to do. But I think that we really should. Okay, I think that we really should because we have a massive plastic bag problem, right? Massive plastic bag problem. You know, so our plastic bags, they can be recycled, but most people don't recycle them, right? So that's one. And, um, and number two, even, even when they do get recycled, okay, even if they do get recycled, it's still not the best process ecologically speaking, environmentally speaking. So ideally, getting rid of plastic bags, as many plastic bags as possible, not using them anymore, that is a really big step and a really big deal to preventing plastic from entering our landfills and not biodegrading or entering our waterways and breaking down to such a microscopic point that we can't see it, but we're actually still consuming it, right? Particularly if you eat fish or if you eat or drink anything that, you know, comes out of our waterways, which, hey, by the way, like all of us do, right? We all drink water that comes out of our waterways and we are consuming plastic. There's plastic and salt now these days, right? Like plastic is everywhere. So if we can start reducing the amount of plastic that we are using, and if we can start with plastic bags, because that's a really, really, really simple thing to stop using, then I think that we're going to make a really huge difference. So here are my top three tips for reducing your plastic bag habit or ditching it completely, okay? So number one, number one is BYOB, right? Bring your own bag. And I know that seems really obvious, um, but again, sometimes it's really hard, right? Like you'll forget to put them in the car and then you end up at the grocery store and you're like, oh, damn it, right? Or, you know, it's like, it's, it's just, it's a really easy thing to forget, you know, even if you know to use them. So you can leave a few in your car. That's what my parents do. They just leave them in the cars that they have, right? Um, you can put them on the front door when you're done, when you unload your bags after going to the grocery store, just hang them over the front door, right? You can hang them over another door, you know, on the garage door, like on the way to garage. You can leave them pretty much anywhere that it's going to make it super easy for you to remember to just grab them on your way out to run any errand right? Any errand, not just to the grocery store, but like anywhere, right? Like anywhere you go, you know, if you're going to Walmart or to Target or to, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, it doesn't matter, right? Have them with you. <laughs> Make it super easy so that you don't have to show up at the, the store and be like, what, where, what happened? I had them, they were there. Okay, so that's number one. Bring your own bag, but also make it super simple for yourself to bring your own bag so that you're not left in the lurch when you get to the store. 
okay? That's one. All right, number two. Number two is just say no. Just say no. Okay, now what does that mean? That means that like there are times when you go to the store where you actually don't need a bag at all, right? You don't maybe even need a reusable bag, right? Like let's say you go to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription, you know, and they usually give something to you like in a little, you know, paper bag, but then sometimes they double bag it and put the paper bag in a plastic bag. You don't need that plastic bag. <laughs> Nobody needs that plastic bag, right? Like your prescription is probably like this big, so you don't need it. You can just say thank you, I will take that paper bag and carry it to your car because very likely you're not going very far. It's going to go from the, the pharmacy to your car to your house, right? It's not traveling far, okay? No big deal, all right? <laughs> so that's one thing, right? Let's say that shoe store that I talked about before, like if you're carrying a shoe box, you can carry that in your arms. Like that is not a big deal, right? You can carry it under your arm. You can carry it in two arms, Um you know, like you can just say no. And of course, like this is true, like if you are somebody who does not travel with small children and you don't have to carry children or hold hands, but there are ways around that too, right? Like if you use a stroller, you can put the box in the stroller, right? Like you don't need to carry it, you know? So there are a lot of ways around that. So just know you have options and you can say no to things that do not require bags. I mean, even like, let's say you're going to the grocery store and all you need is a, like, a carton of almond milk. Yeah, I said almond milk. I mean, you could regular milk too. It doesn't matter, All right? Let's say you need a carton of one thing, one thing at the store. Do you need a bag for that? No, you can carry that out of the store in your hand, right? It is not a big deal, okay? So just say no, that's number two. Okay, now number three, and this is, number three is if you have some plastic bags already lying around at your house, you haven't thrown them away yet, good. You know, you haven't brought them to recycling yet, also fine. Okay, if you have some plastic bags lying around your house, you can repurpose them, right? You can use them for all kinds of things. You know, you can use them for, you know, if your kids are, you know, going to uh, a swimming class and, you know, they come home with wet uh, swimsuits. You know, or it's summer and you go to the splash pad and you want to put their suits in something. You know, you can bring them with you on vacation for similar things, right? Like if you need to put dirty clothes in something, you can bring that plastic bag with you and use it every time, right? Like I have an old Ziploc bag that I use for toiletries every time we go on vacation. I don't know when I bought that Ziploc bag. I've literally been using it for, I think, five years, <laughs> okay? Like I use it over and over and over and over again because it still doesn't have holes and it's still totally functional. So you can reuse your bags as long as you need to. You can bring them back to the grocery store. You can, you know, use them to pick up poop. Although I don't really, I think biodegradable bags are actually better for that. But that's like a video for another time, right? You can reuse those bags for all kinds of things. So just know you can repurpose those bags and reuse them until they're kind of done and uh, and call it good, right? So reuse them until you can't anymore and then recycle them. And you can find places pretty much anywhere to recycle your bags, all right? You can find them, like the places that, that have been most reliable for me are places like Whole Foods or Walmart or Albertsons usually has them or Publix, which is another grocery store in the South. So, you know, there are a lot of places you can look it up, see if you can find places to recycle plastic bags. Some recycling centers will accept them, but most don't. So, you know, I don't do not put them in with your regular recycling because you will just do bad things. <laughs> okay. Like it will, it will prevent that particular, um, that particular recycling batch from being recycled because most plastic bags just gum up the works. So don't put them in with your regular recycling. Don't do it. Um, look for specific plastic bag recycling receptacles at local grocery stores or other stores. So number three is repurpose, reuse until you can't anymore, and then recycle it. Okay, so now you know my top three ways to ditch your plastic bag habit, but I also just want to give you a little reminder of all of the places where you can actually refuse plastic bags, just in case you need a list, okay? So you can refuse plastic bags at the grocery store, at Target, at Walmart, at Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, wherever, whatever hardware store you go to, whatever store you go to get, you know, like home 
goods, home necessity stuff. You can refuse plastic bags when you go to get your hair cut and you buy new shampoo and conditioner, right? You do not need plastic bags there. You can just carry them out, right? You can refuse plastic bags at the farmer's market. If you go to the farmer's market, that's a great place to refuse plastic bags. Bring your own, right? Better yet, bring your own produce bags too. I mean, like if you really want to go all out, which I do, okay, refuse your plastic bags there also, right? You can refuse plastic bags at any clothing store, you know, like when you go to buy clothes, you know, back to school clothes or, you know, any kind of clothes really, you know, like you don't need a plastic bag for that. You can bring your own reusable bag. It's amazing, okay? If you're doing back to school shopping with your kids, you know, or even like holiday shopping, right? You do not need plastic bags. You can bring reusable bags, right? In fact, holiday shopping, reusable bags, hey, that's a really sneaky trick because guess what? Your kids will not know to look in that bag because they'll just assume that it's groceries, right? Okay, so the point is, is that you can refuse plastic bags pretty much anywhere, like art supply stores, gardening supply stores, anywhere, right? Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Bookstores, okay? Pharmacy, shoe stores. I think that I've mentioned like so many places. You could probably add to that list. The point is, you can refuse plastic bags pretty much anywhere so long as you are prepared, so long as you have your reusable bags, so long as you are willing to carry things out in your hands, so long as you are willing to say no to plastic bags, you can refuse plastic bags anywhere you want. Now that's some pretty awesome power, am I right? So if you are ready to ditch your plastic bag habit, give me a thumbs up <laughs> on this video, share this video. This should be, I think, something that anyone and everyone can do. It's a really, really simple action. Um, and, uh, and I think that it could make a really big difference. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. You can leave me a comment and let me know. But for now, thank you for tuning in and for taking a big step towards making the future a cleaner and more beautiful place. Until next time. Bye.